proportions, ratios, and blogging. All right, everybody, let's do this. 6.3. Um, we're talking about similar figures. These are similar. A, B, C to D, E, F. Notice this is A, B, C, D, F, E. So this angle is going to be the same as this angle. This angle is the same as this angle. And this angle is the same as that angle. I mean, that's good enough for me. You could say angle A is congruent to angle D. Angle E is congruent to angle C. And angle B is congruent to angle F. Right? Um, we can say some more stuff. Uh, we could say that BA divided by DF equals DE divided by AC which equals BC divided by BC divided by EF EF check out where they're coming from and do the second one um, I'm sure you can figure out number three on your own try and look at the triangles maybe you should draw out the fact that you have A B C and you have D E F right next to each other and look at what you think could be wrong and notice that it has to be spelt correctly all right let's move on to the next one um, determine whether the polygons are similar are these guys similar hmm well five and six five to six so that's kind of like going up but this is three to four well does five over six equal three divided by four hmm no therefore they are not similar all right now check out this one you can do the same idea next one all right I'll do number six for you but really you're just using this diagram and using what you know about proportions and ratios I'll give the scale factor for you well we know up here this is important that WXYZ is similar to MNOP so let's find the scale. let's do WX divided by MN WX divided by MN. Oh, there's an X there. Can't do that. What about YZ divided by OP? YZ divided by OP. Well, what do I know? I know ON and I know YX. Can I use ON and YX? Yes, I can. So I'm going to say 10 divided by 8 or 10 divided by 8, which is 5 over 4. So the scale factor is 5 fourths. Next one. Okay, we can set a proportion here because we know they are similar. Excellent. So I'm going to say 5.5 divided by M equals 5.5 divided by M. Uh, well, what do I have? I'm going to say 6 divided by 12. 6 divided by 12. Excellent. And you can do the same thing for N to find that one and the one over here as well. Okay, so we're looking at similar triangles, RST and WXY. The thing is, is you got you know RST. We're gonna draw RST right here, R, S, and T. We know that we're gonna have a 10, a 14, and a 20. Now we're gonna draw the WXY, W, X, Y. We know the shortest side is 15. So that's like, what's the shortest side here? Oh, 15. Ooh, all of a sudden we have these variables and we know that these guys are similar. So I'm sure you can find out what this number is here and this number is here just by setting up proportions. All right, down here, multiple choice, draw a picture, 4 to 3. We know DEF, the perimeters are 24. Well, I can even just do that right now. 4 divided by 3 equals... Well, which one's 4? ABC to DEF. So that means that we're going to have um, X over 24. Okay? And you could find out X right there. Next one. Let's work on the next one. Find the scale factor. Oh, this is easy. Let's find the scale factor. Well, you have to look at this. Can I use XZ? XZ and MP? Yes, I can because they're right there and MP is right there. All right. Let's say it's 4 over 10, which is 2 fifths is the scale factor. Next one, you want to make sure you draw a picture of this swimming pool. So what's the scale factor of the swimming pool? Well, I'm not going to answer that. I will only draw the picture. I can draw the pool. 
which is the pool. It's got water. And there is a rectangular park around it. So the park is similar to it. This is the park. All right, and we know that the fence around the park is 50 by 100. And we know that the pool is 30 feet wide. So there you go. And you know they're similar. Find out the rest. Good luck. Have a nice day. See ya.